Hi everyone, it's Mary. Welcome back to the Craft Galley channel. So much fun today. We are going to play with this Lawn Fawn set. They're playing music, they're having a blast, and we are too. So let's get started. I'm going to make this little bear with the little trumpet or trombone. I didn't play band. I wasn't in the band, so I'm not quite sure what that is. But where he's going to be the focal point for the card. But I am going to show you that I'm making this little wrap around thing of acetate on my finger because I want an easy tool to use as I put down my distress inks on my watercolored paper. And so I'm just going to wrap it around and use some double sided adhesive to hold it there. And for the duration of my coloring on the paper, it will stay put. And this way, all I have to do is tap into the ink, put it on my paper, and then wipe it off on a towel that I have to the side. So it's very simple and it makes it very easy and it's a smushing technique but in a much more kind of controlled fashion. Alright so I'm putting down some distress inks here and I'm using rainbow colors and so I'm going to spritz that with a little bit of water and then I'm going to start doing my dab in business. So I'm going to start in rainbow order with the red so on and so forth. Now you can see here, I'm trying to figure out, I want this to kind of go down at an angle. And I do actually like that splotchy look. That's what I'm going for. Right about the end, I notice on this example that I got a little bit too many lines in it. And you'll see it here in just a second. But I'm going through and I am placing down all the colors. Now if you want to mix the colors, you probably only need to use the primary ones. And you'd be fine. So the red and the yellow would make the orange blue and yellow make green, so on and so forth. But I decided to pull out each individual color. And so I'm hitting the purple now, and as you can kind of see, I'm getting a lot of lines instead of splotches down there. Honestly though, I really like the way that card turned out anyway. All right, second panel here, I'm gonna show you a little bit of different technique. I'm just swiping my finger across the paper in like a wavy motion. And I did notice that I put down the yellow without the orange, so I went back to do that. And I'm just making these little waves. There's nothing exciting about that. <laughs> However, when I cut it down, uh, I do like the way that we end up using this on the card. So right here I took a uh, hillside border die and I am going to cut out this panel uh, so that it kind of looks like a sound of music or a, excuse me, a wave of music. All right, so I'm gonna go back in and gather them at the end. You could see I kind of make a point there at the bottom. And then now this is kind of gonna be my wave of music. And you can't see me, but I'm actually putting my hand up in the air like a wave of music. <laughs> All right, let's color this little cutie. So I'm gonna use some, uh, do some water coloring here. I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock with real brush markers and some uh, watercolor ink, friendly ink. And I used Versa, fine onyx black ink and I, you saw me stamp him out right in the beginning. So I'm going to color him in. Now I use two different browns, a darker one and then a, a lighter one. And I just kind of get the ends where the shadows would be nice and filled in. Then I'm going to take a water brush and just pull it out. It's the fastest way possible for me to get shading. I like alcohol markers and I do use them, but I find that this is a much quicker technique. And I've been crafting a lot in the morning, so uh, I don't have a ton of time. All right, so that's why I chose that medium. Filling in my trombone or trumpet. If you know what that is, comment below. All right, and also I should say, side note, um, I'm fighting off a cold right now, so I do apologize if my voice is a little funny or that if I sound low energy. So I think the uh, move and then the mix of all the new people I've been working with and I don't know what happened. I'm sick. Okay, so here we go. Now I've put all of my uh, notes on the sound. Not this, It's not a sound. It's the wave of music. All right, so I put all my notes on there and I'm going to lay that down flat because I want to pop up my bear. And so I get that laid down with some Nouveau glue and then I'm just going to cut that right off because it's not needed. We don't need that extra bit there. And um, once I get that all nice and trimmed up, ready to go, we are going to start putting this card together with a sentiment. So we have to make a sentiment after we get the bear popped up. I'm going to use some of these really thin black uh, foam squares. I really like how thin they are. It's hard to find like a good 
depth or height, however you would call it, for a foam dot. And these are nice and thin because they just add a little bit of oomph. And if you want more, you double them up. Uh, but I do have some foam squares that are just a little bit too high. I almost want to cut them in half. So these are perfect. So I'm going to do that. And he's looking good. He's looking like this card is coming together. I did have some brick uh, paper, crafty paper in my stash. And so I pulled that out for the background. Um, all right. So let's work on our sentiment here. So the sentiment is going to be uh, happy birthday to you. And it's in a sound wave. Now you'll see it's wavy. That's got to be a sound wave, right? Because you hear it. The colors are in a wave of color because you see them. None of this is technical, just so you all know. This is all just Mary isms. All right, so I'm going to use some uh, white embossing powder after I have used Versamark ink on that sentiment, and I'm going to heat set that. And you have a lot of that uh, embossing, not em what is it called? The static, the, the powder bag. You get a lot of powder bag left over, so you want to make sure that you uh, wipe that down. And so I do a better job at wiping that down later on because I didn't want to, my letters were still a little hot, so I didn't want to melt them and ruin it. All right, so I cut that out. I fussy cut that out, and now we're ready to put that on the card. I'm going to use some AdTech Tape Runner, place this down on my card base, and then a trick for foam tape is remove both sides of the release paper, and you can bend the foam tape in any direction you want. And so that's really helpful when you're trying to do stuff like this. Like I'm trying to make it go around the wave of sound, which is happy birthday to you. And I do that very, very easily because I took off both sides of the release paper. It gives me a lot of flexibility. Cut that down, place it down on my card, and... I am going to use, um, oh, I said it was the card base before. That was my mistake. This is the card base. I always like to score my 110 pound cardstock because I don't want it to bend funny. So that's what I was doing there. And then I'm adding my panel to the card base. There we go. So I have some layering going on with the card. And I like the way that that looks. That looks, kind of gives it a clean and simple look on the back. All right. And then I'm just going to use a black gel pen to fill in the nose and the eye. And that will do it for the card today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Make sure you go over and check out all these goodies over at the Craft Galley shop. Uh, lots of great products have come in. Uh, you're going to get swept away in all the goodness over there. And we so appreciate you stopping by to hang out with us today. Don't forget to hit subscribe, which is in the upper left-hand corner. And then in the lower right-hand corner, there's some more videos for you to check out until we see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.